Hello and welcome back. We're hanging out on the bridge. What was I going to do? Oh hey, early at the standing between these men again. Are they men? Possibly men. These humans. I don't remember if I was supposed to do anything on the bridge more. I'll just look at the star map and we'll see where to go. We... We explored this, right? <clears throat> Let me have a quick little look. Yes, right, 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 right. Uh, we did go here. Ah, oh, right, I remember now. I was debating with myself whether it would be a good idea to chart a course I mean, I could chart it here as well. I don't know how easy it's going to be to get inside. Say I spent three, and I spent two to make it yellow. Leaves me with three. Fuck it, let's, let's go. So that's a good route to have, I think. Mm, I see. Cause like, we've done this side, more or less. I wonder if this green mist will uh, clear up any. Uh, let's visit this system before we go anywhere else. An unidentified object has been located in the system. The artifacts react. The artifact reacts to our transmissions by releasing unknown radiation. Most like. Oh wait, this is not. <laughs> uh, an unidentified object has been located in the system. The artifact reacts to our transmissions by releasing unknown radiation. Most likely of seen origin, the cogs are reporting. If you want to get a closer look, we need to close the distance between the vessel and the object. Dang. Oh, hey, it's the Incredible Hulk. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm a bit out of it. Uh, I'm coming back after a few days of not recording. So I'm a little, well, out of it, I guess is, is the best term. It's fine, we'll figure it out as we go. Uh, not a very eventful system, oh. We are doing fine on Prometheum. At first, it looked like the snow in Desolate Planet was devoid of surprises, but the yellow and orange flickering of the lumens and the notifications from the Augur system informed the officers there was a small colony that survived in spite of the harsh climatic conditions. All attempts to hail the colony have failed. Send a scouting party. Explorers report the dismal condition of the settlement and its inhabitants. Their skin is translucent and pale, their icy blue eyes see practically no color, their language is rough and guttural, and their stomachs cannot tolerate anything except a stew made from local roots and mosses. Yet they are subjects of the Imperium, still loyal to the Emperor. Uh, they have mistaken your people for his emissaries. Uh, find out what happened to the world. The local elders woefully reminisced about times long gone. Most of them were still sheltered in their mother's wombs when snow first settled on the verdant fields. Hail ruined the crops and frost hardened the soil. Plants and large beasts that could not sustain themselves were the first to go. They were soon followed by birds and other small animals. Most people in large cities perished, unable to warm themselves and their families. Uh, they say the governor and his entourage left the world in the first days of winter, taking all the provisions and fuel with them. No one responded to the police from his, uh, this dying world. 
the stars remain deaf to the messages transmitted by the planet's vocations. These abandoned subjects of the Imperium still managed to save the machines and other valuables, but they were of little use without a supply of Prometheum. I, I have a lot of Prometheum. And yet those who survived eventually adapted to the tribulations of, uh, that the God Emperor had bestowed upon them. I, I want to help them, so I am going to give the unfortunate people uh, a gift of Prometheum and send tech priests to perform rites on the generator maintenance. Okay. Uh, when the maw of the first generator belched forth a furious roar and black ash started falling from the sky instead of snow, the locals laughed and danced, uh, trying to warm their limbs after decades of cold. They called down blessings upon their unseen savior, a rogue trader from the Von Valencius dynasty, and thanked the god emperor for the fortuitous encounter. Okay. Uh, the explorer's departure was accompanied by shouts of grateful approval, not to mention their many parting gifts. There's a fucking Prometheum source on the planet. I guess they didn't know how to mine it. Uh, let's check out this Hulk before going to the mysterious object. What the fuck is that? Oh. <clears throat> well... Ah! What the fuck is this? Um, Cinerius Maleficum Material Internal Void Ship Communications Log The lookout Bridge, we have an unknown object dead ahead, not an asteroid, clearly artificial in nature, but it's larger than Footfall Station. Uh, copy that. Reported, report relayed to officer on duty and pilots. Expect visual soon. We have visual. What? What the? Look out. Look out, this is the Voxmaster. I'm adding the pilot, senior officers, and the Lord Captain to this channel. The leadership wishes to assume personal command. Lord Captain, we have requested intel on the object from the Augur Array module, awaiting response. It is a huge fuck of webway gate. Huh. I don't know that I've ever seen art of these. Lord Captain on the line. No need to engage the Augurs. I know what it is. It's called a webway gate. Officer station. Ven okay. Van Kalox here. Oh, that's Heinrichs. What we see before us is a webway gate, an artifact that Sinos used to the sorcerers to get to the sorcerer's realm, so to speak. It shows Eldari. It allows Eldari to get around the sector quickly and serves as a hideout for the most unpleasant tribe, the Drukari, whom we have already met. Earlier here, this gate is just like the one you saw on the Lilathan. The children of Assyrian wander the void through such constructs, erected in ancient times. Any ship that passes through such a portal will enter a tangle of paths unfathomable to none but my kin. Well, is there an auger report? Uh, according to the available data, the object consists of an unknown material foreign to the Imperium that would be Wraithbone. We are registering an unknown class of energy profile. The engine seers are at a loss about how this technology works exactly, uh, but they did specify that the energometry suggests that the system is holding an active charge. The object appears ready to do whatever it's designed to do. Can we enter the webway? What is the senior officer's take on this? Van Kalox here. What we see before us is a web... Oh. Okay. Can we activate this device somehow? Requesting response from the Engineerium. Apologies, Lord Captain. The tech priests have refused even to consider that such a possibility. It would be a violation of the omnicized tenets and an extremely dangerous undertaking. 
Perhaps a certain companion of yours could. Even if I knew the secret of this gate, I would never surrender it to the monkey. Uh, the webway is our kin's sacred refuge and a deadly trap to those such as you, Elantok. I'm not gonna shoot at it. Enough mysteries. We're changing course and moving out. Yes, Lord Captain. Maneuver engines. Changing course. Oh. Huh. Wait, what did I say? Was that a quest or a... What was it? Oh, can we buy adamantine? Sure. Oh wait, who do we buy from even? I think we blasted a station, it's fine. No. Porta. Hmm. Did I not get that? That's eh, fine. Oh, uh, Heinrich wants to talk. I forgot. Come on, it's just the bridge. There he is. You have my complete attention. <laughs> Are you satisfied with the results of your mission on Kiava Gamma? Of course. The fabricator sensor's machine was stopped. Not another soul will be sent into the mouth of the arch enemy. In time, we will succeed in uncovering and stopping other schemes of the cult. We dealt a blow not only to the cultists, but to the arch enemy itself. I cannot help but be pleased. All right, he didn't want to speak about it then, but I have high persuasion. Touching the cogitator did something to you. I want to know what. No servant of the God Emperor has closer dealings with corruption than the agents of the Golden Throne. In its quest to guard the Imperium against its foes' most devious and secret schemes, the Inquisition seeks to understand the essence of evil. It is not enough for us to burn or cut down a rotten seedling. We must study it, understand it, mm. touch it. Every time any of us do our duty, we are risking our very souls. Yeah. But when it comes to psychers, the soul of a psyker is especially enticing to the arch enemy. Yeah, all of that is very super dangerous. The cogitator was stopped, yes. I touched an infernal machine that was created to serve chaos. I used it. I delved into the principles of its operation. That was enough. Corruption needs only the briefest brush of contact. Yeah, you should know that better than most. When I touched the cult's cogitator, I drew the thousand-eye gaze of evil upon myself, as any agent does when they interfere in the schemes of those who serve the ruinous powers. And that evil undoubtedly left an invisible mark upon me, as it does on any acolyte who fights against the archenemy. And this will be the case every time I do my duty. I know a good deal about the fates of those who have served the throne before me, Enough to know that my path leads to one place, and one place only. So what are you going to do next? My visit to Kiava Gamma did not produce answers to all my questions, 
but we did succeed in dealing a blow to the cult by destroying the fabricators. Just laughing machine. at this. I have directed my spies to track the sex surviving leaders. I am certain that they will have useful information for us soon. Though small, this is a victory for the Golden Throne, and I have you to thank for it. I think that will be all for now. Now that my mission is concluded, I can devote my time to other things, such as that long promised conversation with the Lord Captain. It would be a pleasure. Why don't we go to my study? After you, Lord Captain. You spent a couple of hours in leisurely conversation with Heinrichs von Kalox. All the while, you cannot shake the feeling that the interrogator's questions are in pursuit of some goal other than simply sustaining the genteel chit-chat. When the general topics at last are exhausted, an awkward pause hangs in the air between you. The interrogator glances at the desk piled high with papers. I suppose the news of your inheritance of the Sacred Warrant has come as a complete surprise to you. Abelard mentioned searching for heirs once, and how some of them felt about their lives changing forever. Not all of them fully understood the duty they were taking on. Frankelux says this in a deadpan voice, and you cannot tell if his apparent indifference is real or feigned. Well, let's throw it back at him. You can relate, of course. Your life once changed beyond recognition as well. The interrogator is silent for a few moments. True, but that was a long time ago, and I was still a child. Children quickly adapt to new circumstances and environments. I do not think a black ship is an acceptable environment for a child. It is an acceptable environment for a psycho who cannot control his power. He looks around the study. I can judge a person based on their surroundings, but not here. The air is thick with the memory of Theodora, the decor, the trophies. There are only slight changes related to daily rituals. Uh, this has felt like an inter interrogation rather than a conversation for a while now. Discomfited? Hmm. Heinrich clears his throat. I'm just trying to make conversation, Jane. To find out what interests you and what your life is like. Nothing more. Really? In that case, I shall choose the next topic, if you don't mind. He looks at you intrigued. Be my guest, and what do you want to talk about? Dang. <laughs> what? Nah, 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 nah. Let, let, let's go with this, this is fun. Tell me a secret. A secret? Heinrich thinks. Well, I was not completely candid with your... With your earlier, haha. <laughs> Fucked up. Man, I hope someone got fired for that blunder. <laughs> I'm joking. About when my life changed. I wasn't so young that I wasn't troubled by thoughts of what could have been. Sometimes I dream about training on my family's night. Right, I... Did, did he mention before that his family had a night? Sometimes I miss my sisters. Sometimes I wish I had been spared the Psychic's curse. Sometimes I try too hard to appear impervious, to regret and pain. Heinrich laughs a little, as though trying to hide behind humor. Of all the secrets in my keeping, that is the least dangerous. What is your favorite color? What? What kind of question is that? I don't place any importance on such trivial things. Red? Yes, I suppose my favorite color would be red. And your favorite food? Heinrich looks at you in polite bewilderment. I place no great importance on the minutiae of my life. I don't I don't personally remember this, but I like it. 
I recall your colorful metaphor involving Amazek and cheese. Your memory is excellent. <laughs> My character's memory might be. I suppose you've caught me there. Such extravagances are not always available when I travel to different worlds in the course of my duties, so I value the moments when I can enjoy them. Let's talk about romantic preferences. It's always a stimulating topic, don't you find? A long time ago, I once had a fleeting romance with a baroness on Novellum 19 in the Calixus sector. Raven hair, olive skin, and a fiery temperament. I suppose that's... The combination I like. Interrogator's eyes narrow ever so slightly as though he is anticipating your reaction. <laughs> sure, I'll return his look. I'm not talking about fleeting dalliances. The nature of my duties do not permit me anything more than that. You can almost see the eyes forming in his eyes at these words. If we've exhausted this topic, let's return to my question. Fair enough. Why don't we discuss the Holy Inquisition's uh, plans in the Corona's Expanse? That is a light and demanding topic. Forgive me, but it seems your talent for small talk is scarcely better than mine. And besides, you already know the Inquisition's plans where I am concerned, to accompany you. Alright, let's talk about what interests you instead. Me? Hmm. Well, there is one thing that interests me. Yeah? The... Regicide board? The Silvermark flank opening. Why use it in the middle game? Are you talking about the Regicide board? The game on the board isn't mine. Ah, that's a shame. I noticed the combination as soon as we came in, and I've been eagerly eager to ask about the thinking behind White's strategy. Heinrich lapses into silence as he intently studies the pieces on the board. You see his jaw relax and a spark of life kindles in his eyes. Do you play Regicide? Oh yes. He smiles wistfully. Or rather, I used to play back when I had an opponent. I usually lost. But Regicide is one of the few domains where failure carries no consequences, except the chance to get better. And it was a very, very long time ago. If you'll permit me... Heinrichs bites his nail in thought, his eyes not leaving the board. Then he reaches out and cautiously moves a piece. Then another two pieces, and another two. All of his attention is absorbed in rearranging the pieces on the board. Is he... Uh... Playing out both sides, is it like, oh, I just noticed there's a fucking Eldar pistol right here, I think. Um, I've got it. The Calyxian prong with a diversionary sacrifice, drawing the opponent into Zugswang. Zugswang? <laughs> elegant, very elegant. Pleased to have unraveled the mystery, the smiling interrogator looks up at you and, upon seeing your expression, coughs and looks away. Uh, apologies, I got carried away. Why are you apologizing? For the first time in this entire conversation, you did something you actually wanted to do. Did I? Hmm, interesting observation. He runs a hand through his hair. Okay. You're right. I haven't been able to break out of my usual role, asking targeted questions and then just sitting back and listening. My work leaves no room for personal desires, and I rarely even ask myself what I want. This game, it distracted me from me. Yes, let's play. Perhaps it would be easier to find a common ground over a game of regicide. He looks at me. Perhaps, if you're offering. <laughs> I know how to play Regicide. Perhaps we could talk over a game from time to time. His face brightens. I would gladly join you in a game. Back when I had an opponent, I spent all my free time at the board and... 
The box on your desk buzzes to life and both jump. Uh, Heinrich inclines his head. You are wanted. And I have taken up enough of your time. Running away, are you? No. Just deferring to your duty, Lord Captain. Okay, interesting. I don't really know if I... I don't know if it's an option to do two romances at once, and I don't know if that interests me really. I'd rather not, I guess. Anything else in my journal I've yet to do? Have some footfall. We're going there, ever so slowly. Going back to Dragonus. That's also on the to-do list. This is looking pretty, pretty good. Have we talked to Raver about that? Hmm. Lever? I'm not sure what that's referring to. Oh well. Pull the lever, Kronk. Okay. Then, I'm thinking we go here. I'm gonna spend one insight to make this path just a little bit safer. The steady rhythm of the life aboard the vessel was disrupted when on the fourth watch of the voyage, the lower decks had their gravity reversed. The stunned denizens of the afflicted sectors were woken up by being torn from the assigned beds and tossed into the ceiling. Numerous injuries and fatalities were reported. The difficulties in performing regular duties due to the gravity reversal continued until the end of the journey. After the ship exited the warp, uh, the gravity returned to the accepted norm, an event that once again was accompanied by deaths and injuries among the crew. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't imagine we'll... Oh, would you look at that? I wasn't really expecting... Uh, a route to that system, but I'll take it. Oh, ho, ho, enemies of humanity. Let's uh, make a hard save. It's been a little while. And let's go have ourselves a little, a little naval battle. A Hulk again. Quite a few of those hanging out. Oh, shadow hunters. Five of them. Looks like. Ah, torpedoes. Why is the camera not following? What's this? Little indicator? Oh, that's a bigger one. Do we go for it? Perhaps. There's a lot of torpedoes. No hits. Holo field. Each attack made by an enemy has an equal chance of he hitting either. Ah, their casting mirror image. Okay, I have something resembling a plan. Oh man. I think this is gonna be tough. Okay. 
Okay, we got one hidden. Oh! Okay, that seems good to me. I'm gonna throw out my my own torpedoes right here. And we're gonna roll up next to them and hit them with the broadside. Oh shit, I don't know if we're safe from the torpedoes. This is a dodgy situation. To say the least. Can we? We can try that at least. Okay. Might spare us some troubles. Ah, uh, okay, fine. Oh, here it comes. Huh. Curious. way are those going? They're going that way. Okay, good. Excellent, in fact. Okay, and if we make it here, I should have, have enough guns on them to guarantee a kill from that position. Let's try for the broadside. Oh, nothing. There it is. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button. Oh well. That's what I meant to do. Yeah, they are the Eldar torpedoes. I feel like these shouldn't be able to hit me straight on, at the very least. Oh dear. What? Okay. I'm not... Ugh. I'm not sure I agree with your tactics. AI companion. Do we... I think we do this. What? Huh. And we're kind of handicapped because... We accidentally restarted the shields. Um, that's going to help us some at least, I think. I can't really do much. Oh dear. Oh man, they're like ganging up on our buddies. Fuck. Oh, mm. our friends are having some troubles with the whole hitting thing.
Okay, that's something. Nope, no, 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 fuck. I'm, I'm being stupid. Being fucking dumb. Anything else we can do? Yes. playing this very well I feel well our torpedoes can at least hit something should we go for this one one of the ones that are bunched together at the very least probably should have gone for that one on further retrospection Lance can hit from here. I should have checked that, that's fine though. Okay. I should be able to hit him with this. Or oh, do we want to hit it that close? We don't. I don't think. Okay, okay. Nice. Just in case, let's reinforce our aft shields. The enemy shield is down. Damn. Time to unleash a worthy contribution to Lady Theodora's legacy. Solar's intact solar is down. Wraithbone, very nice. And some scrap. I think we gained a level as well. What can we do now? Strafe or vulnerability? Let's go for the mo movement option. No. Maybe. Huh. I mean, that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. Let's do the one that's going to get us more scrap. Because I enjoy... Getting greater rewards. Yeah. Let's upgrade the hull. It's pretty good. Uh, anyways, we will explore the rest of this system when we get back next time. See you later.